Hi, this is JD Wisco from Self Taught Japanese, and this time I wanted to do a book review of Ningen, a Japanese literature book by Matayoshi Naoki. Just to give a little bit of history, a few years ago I read another book by the same author, Hibana,、uh, which is translated as Spark, which is a pretty interesting book. I posted that review on my blog some time back. And、um, that book was also made into a Netflix drama, which I think received pretty high critical acclaim. And I think just a few months ago, the English version finally came out. So that was a pretty good book. So I had pretty high expectations coming into Ningen,、uh, which means human, by the way. So let me talk about some of the details of this book. Generally speaking, I don't like to give away the story too much. So I'm just going to talk about a little bit of the story, and then I'm going to focus on the good and the bad points from my point of view. So, in terms of the story, it begins with a guy who's、uh, waking up one morning. He has sort of an interesting dream, and then he checks his email and he sees an email from、uh, an old friend, someone that he spent time with in his college years. He went to an art school. And then it kind of goes from there and it switches back to the past. And there's a lot of time、uh, devoted in the book to his,、uh, his college life、um, and you know, events that are important to his life.、But、eventually, it comes back to the present and the story continues. Um, so, I'm not going to say much more than that in terms of the actual story, but I do want to talk about basically how I felt about the book. So, first,、um, some of the good points, you know, some of the things that I appreciated. The main thing that I really enjoyed was、um, a lot of the discussions about、um, philosophical things. There was the discussions about memory, about、um, interpretation, about art. There w a s a lot of、um, different themes that were brought up. And there was a lot of、uh, conversation kind of back and forth. And just to see you know, how the conversation worked you know, in terms of the Japanese used was pretty interesting. There was also、uh, you know, some discussion about basically like what it means to be an artist and,、uh, or what it means to be a comedian. And、uh, those were pretty interesting topics. So I did enjoy much of that. There w a s also some, a few sections that had pretty nice literary prose,、um, you know, some. Interesting descriptions, you know, creative descriptions that were like, wow, this is pretty cool. There's a few sections like that, but overall it was more of just the, like I said, the different topics that were discussed and mostly in conversation form. So that was the main thing that I got out of the book、uh, from a positive sense. So, in terms of the negative points, pretty much my biggest issue with the book was the story.、Um, and related to that is empathy. For the main character. Again, I don't want to go too much into the story, but there was a pretty large amount of time devoted to、um, some of the other characters, the side characters, and they were definitely important.、Uh, I'm not going to give the exact details, but there's,、um, there's strong connections between some of those characters and the main character. So it does connect to the main character's life and his feelings and thoughts about life, but to a certain extent, I wanted to see more happening directly with the main character. So, there was one、uh, part which is kind of related to that. That was probably the worst part in the book for me. To be honest, I actually considered stopping reading the book sometime in, you know, midway through the book. I ended up skipping a few pages of the section and continuing on. And I'm glad I did continue on, but it was still sort of a, a down part for me, a down point for me. So, that section involves a series of conversations between two other characters,、um, not the main character, two other characters. And basically, it's in the form of emails, and I guess you could call it bashing, where they're pretty much saying, you know, you suck for this reason, or you're not funny, because one of the guys,、um, or maybe both, was a comedian or artist. It was like, you know, your art's bad for this reason, you know, you are not a good artist for this reason, you know, that kind of thing. And this was pretty long,、uh, long winded. A lot of,、uh, you know, the discussions,、uh, some of the reasons, you know, the, the philosophy and the, the argumentation there was interesting, but it was pretty long. Um, it, was, it felt like <laughs> a big portion of the book. you know, it was, it was definitely, I would say, at least 30 pages. I, I didn't count the exact pages, but this part went on and on and on. And it's basically you know, trying to insult another person.、Um, and it did feel quite realistic. So, in that sense, it was well written, but you know, it was due to the fact it was sort of a negative thing and、um, it extended for a long period of time. And due to the fact that it was not really directly connected to the,、um, the main character. Now, when, as you、uh, read more into the book, you discover the, more of the connections. So it, it kind of made sense, but at the same time, I thought maybe that section should have been shortened, you know, just made to a, a few pages. And I mean, it is very rambling. There's actually one or two points where、um, the main characters, who's kind of you know, talking about these emails, 
he's kind of saying, yeah, this is really hard to understand or I don't know what they're saying. So, you know, the reader is forced to read these emails that in some cases are hard to understand. <laughs> they're supposed to be hard to understand or a little bit confusing. So it was just not appealing. Um, so I ended up skipping maybe 10 pages or so of that section. Um, and then eventually it goes back to other parts of the story. So that to me was one of the biggest negative aspects of the story. And then related to that was, uh, as I said, there's sort of a lack of empathy uh, for the author. I just, I didn't really care that much about him. Now the first half, you know, first third, there was some interesting events and I was starting to, you know, get more into the, the character. And then, like I said, there's the middle part where there's a big focus on some of these other characters, in which, you know, their lives are interesting and they're connected, of course, to the main character. But I just, kind of lost the connection with the main character and eventually there's more of the main character's life later in the book so it's not that they switched characters but at the same time I just didn't care about the main character that much I didn't really have um how do you say uh, emotional investment so you know at the end I was like oh, I'll just finish reading this book and I'll say that um it was entertaining you know there's definitely some portions at the end that I liked much better than some of the portions in the middle so I was glad that I read to the end and as a whole I mean it was an enjoyable book but due to some of the the disadvantages you know if I had a choice to go back in time and pick another book yeah maybe I would have done that so one thing I like to talk about in my uh, written book reviews which I'll also mention in this uh, this vocal one um, is how to uh, look at this book from the perspective of someone who's studying Japanese, a Japanese learner. So basically, it's pretty difficult because of all the philosophical stuff. There's a lot of kanji, there's not a lot of furigana, and I, I definitely learned some words myself from, from some of the dialogues and some of the descriptions. And it's the level is pretty high, and one thing that makes it even more difficult is the fact that um, several of the characters use a Kansai Ben or a Osaka Ben which is one of the more common dialects in Japan, but um, it has a lot of serious differences, or I should say significant differences from regular um, standard Japanese, which is Hyojungo or uh, Tokyo Bin. So um, it's definitely um, something, you know, you can look up and learn. And, you know, it's kind of fun and it has a certain atmosphere to it. And, you know, these characters, they're from that region, the Kansai region, so it, it makes sense. But it's definitely, um, especially for people who are relatively new to Japanese, maybe beginners or even intermediate students, it's a lot of extra work to understand. Um, or, you know, you can look up all these phrases and try to figure them out. Um, you know, things like uh, dekihin instead of uh, dekinai. Um, and what's another one? You know, soyanen, uh, soyade. There's, you know, for example, the, the da typically turns into a ya, so you can have like yakara instead of dakara. So, I mean, I'm not gonna go over that dialect in, in much detail now because it's there's a lot to learn but those are just some of the um, sound changes now besides the dialogue all of the regular uh, other Japanese you know the descriptions and the thoughts of the character are for the most part in, in regular Japanese so it's not the entire book but the book is maybe at least half if not more dialogue so you know I have nothing no issue with uh, you know the cultural aspect it's great to to learn you know another part of the culture of Japan but at the same time for people are still learning Japanese, it's, it's a lot of extra work. So besides that, um, it's a little long. It's over 300 pages. I mean, that's not really that long compared to books that, you know, you may have read in your native language. But uh, when you're reading a book in, you know, foreign language, you, at least for me, I try to keep to relatively short books, at least at the beginning. So um, you would probably want to read a bunch of books that are of shorter length before you try this one. Uh, as a general suggestion, if you are interested in this book, um, I would definitely check out uh, Hibana, which I mentioned earlier, the Spark, and the English just came out too, so you could always try that, or you could watch the Netflix documentary, or the drama rather, which um, I heard is pretty good. I haven't actually seen that, but it's, it's based on the original book. And, you know, that book was, it was, I believe it's shorter. I don't have it in front of me here, but I think it was much shorter. I remember enjoying it a lot more, Hibana that is, uh, than Ningen. And um, it was easier to follow, and it still had Kansai Ben, but um, it was just, it was more um, tightly written, I guess. You know, it was, it was shorter and tightly written, and it just felt like it was um, holistically uh, better better made, better written. So I would definitely start with that. It has some of the same themes too, um, you know, like uh, the life of a comedian or, you know, art, that kind of thing. It's definitely uh, shared themes. And, and as a matter of fact, like I feel that another disadvantage of this book is it sort of felt like it was kind of autobiographical um, in terms of the author wrote about, you know, what he knows best and what he's familiar with, and it, it sounded like he was writing about himself. It sounded like he was the main character. I mean, that was really the way I read it. And um, even in the book, 
there's a reference to that where he says, uh, you know, people write about what they know best. They write about their life, you know, which is, of course, true in the, in the real world. I would say most, if not everybody, you know, they take inspiration from their own life as well as uh, external other sources. Um, so that's only natural. But um, at the same time, since I felt Hibana uh, was like that as well. I mean, it's about two comedians, <laughs> you know, um, two uh, manzaishi. Uh, it was basically um, kind of like a second book that was also sort of very similar, or at least felt to be similar um, with the the author, his life, right? Ningen is more about, has more writing in, in terms, like uh, as one of the characters is um, writing a book, which again sounds like it's what the real author, uh, Matayoshi Naoki, is doing in his real life, because of course he's, he's writing these novels now. So, I mean, that could be good or bad, um, but I, I was just hoping the author would do something a little bit more different from his real life, but that's okay. Overall, it was still a good experience, although next time I'll definitely um, get a book that's sort of different and has a little more story, um, a more, uh, I would say, more consistent, uh, coherent story. All right, well, that pretty much finishes the review. Before I finish, I just wanted to thank you for listening. And if you don't know of it already, uh, please check out my blog, selftaughtjapanese.com, where I have a bunch of uh, information about Japanese grammar, culture, book reviews, and a bunch of other things. I also have a few books on Amazon. Um, you can find those um, information about those on my blog. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.